morning, good morning, good morning. Hey you guys, welcome back to Apple's and Tiaras. For those of you that are new here, my name is Charlotte Valdez and I am a fourth grade science teacher in the East Valley of Arizona. If you're not familiar with Arizona, I am in like the Phoenix area, but I'm not in Phoenix. So I'm on the outskirts in more of like the country land areas. So anyway, today I thought I would give you guys a tour of my fourth grade classroom. It is currently August 2020, so right now I'm really just here by myself. Um, so for all of you watching, I'm going to focus more on my virtual learning space in the beginning of this video, and then I will show you guys the rest of my classroom as well. But I figure if I show my virtual teaching space in the beginning of this video, um, if you're really just looking to see the virtual setup, then the video or then the beginning of this video is for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you just a quick pan of my room and then I will show you guys everything in detail. Um, I will try my best to link things down below, but you guys, most of what I have in my classroom was either purchased on Amazon, from Target, from Walmart, so there's nothing super special or super like secret about everything that's in here. Most of the printed items are from Teachers Pay Teachers or I created them on my computer, cut them out with my Cricut, and went from there. So I will try to tell you guys as much as possible where things are from, but I promise you I'm not going to link everything down below because that takes me hours to do and I just don't want to link things when I can just send you to Amazon and you can find it on your own. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I am standing in the center of my classroom right now, directly in the center, and I'm just gonna give you guys a quick like pan around a good 360 and then I will start zooming in on things. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So something else that I need y'all to keep in mind when you're watching this video is that I have my room set up for students as if they would be returning in person with no social distancing, with no pandemic. And so when the kids do return in October, my room will change and I will do an updated classroom tour but it won't really be like a video like this where I show you every detail. It'll just be an update of how I've changed things around. So anyway, let's get into the tour. This is my favorite type of video to watch. I love getting inspiration from other teachers, seeing the way they set up their room, seeing the things that they have and you know, I'm, I'm a consumer so if there's something in your video that I like and I want to buy it, I'm going to be all over that. So. Um, I'm going to show you guys my virtual setup first. I'm going to just kind of zoom in on this area and um, because this is kind of like the main hub of the classroom right now and then I will show you everything to you guys. So I'm going to flip you guys around and show you everything in here. All right, you guys, so this is just a quick little pan of my virtual teaching space. So I do teach from my school. I prefer to teach from school. I prefer to be able to come into work and just be at work and have work and home separate because when I go home, I do not do any work and it's nice because I'm a mom and a wife and I like to work out and I like to clean my house. So I like to focus on things at home when I'm home. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour. So first things first, um, I am missing an essential item in my classroom and that is my um, smart board, but they are coming in in the next couple of weeks to install a giant television screen which will take place of the smart board. So that is why I actually have my setup over here because I'm waiting for that screen to come so that I can use it as a monitor to see my students. So that is kind of why I've plopped myself up here rather than back there is because I am anticipating this lovely screen 
and it'll be perfect for working on. So that's why I'm up here. But anyway, the first thing that I am seeing is my uh, teacher chair. So this is just the average teacher chair that every school gives, <laughs> most schools. Um, and I do have my Get Your Teach On little chair cover here. And I keep my um, planner and my grade book tucked away in here for just quick, easy access. And um, I actually never kept anything in here. And I just realized that I could put these in here. So uh, grade book is just a binder. And then I do have a happy planner. It's not a teacher planner, but um, it is a happy planner that I use for um, keeping plans and school related stuff in. So there's that. And then over here, I just have this cart, which is really nice and handy. It's nice and close by. And in it, I just keep all of the things that I use that I do not want cluttering my actual workspace. So um, pens, pencils. I have a lot of blacks in here because I do have a student with a visual impairment and she has a trouble seeing other colors other than black. So whenever I take notes or whenever I do any type of writing, I like to do it in black so that um, all my students can see everything I'm doing. So in these little buckets here, I just have my doorbell. Um, oh, there it goes actually up there we'll wait for that to end and then in here I just have some more technology so this is a charger I can charge my camera I can charge my wireless speaker my um, globe timer and then um, anything else that requires a um, one of these little guys and then I also have a webcam in here just in case I decided I wanted to use it for whatever reason. Um, and then I also have a random regular timer down here just in case I need that. Um, in the top, I have crayons and markers for drawing in our notebooks. I also have some sticky notes for if I need to take a note real quick and then stick it somewhere. Um, tissues for obvious reasons. And then my notebook. So I have a science notebook, social studies notebook, and then I keep student info in here. So like every week I write down which kids are not passing, and then I make sure to send that parent an email. I have my easy grader, my science saurus, just in case I have a content question and I need help with planning. Um, and then I also have my fourth grade science and social studies standards laminated. So this one's cool. It actually compares the next gen standards with Arizona science, and it's really cool to see the correlation and the differences. And then I also keep any other like important documents from the school in here, like scheduling, um, anything like that. A whiteboard, just in case I want to help a student with math during office hours. And then I also have some more other planning resources here. These are just like I can statements and things like that that I might use. So that's all what's in my cart. I also have my Mr. Sketch markers here for Fridays when we do drawing during Google Meet. I love that. And then I always have my lightsabers here. Um, I know Shelly from Elementary or Early Adventures uses one of these um, in her classroom and it is just a pointer so I have two of them one is green this one's for the students and then mine is red because I'm Darth Valdez and Darth Vader has a red one so I use a red one over here I have my little mini whiteboard which is what I write everything I need to do during my Google Meet on. So today is Friday. I need to make sure to talk about the Unit 1 quiz. I need to make sure to remind the kids that they need to register for online or in-person, which is starting on October 5th. So something I need to remember to do. And then coming this way, I do have my breakfast waiting for me. <laughs> um, we'll just get into the desk space. So right here I have my document camera. This is really cool. I showed it in a couple vlogs ago. Um, but you just flip the Lenovo around and point this camera down and then it projects to the screen. So this isn't doesn't need to be plugged in. You just take it around with you. Um, but I have it right here for if I need to use it. And then I also have this one, which is for my phone. So if I wanted to project something in Google Meet, I could just join on my phone and then um, <clears throat> face it down. So like if I want to do any demonstrations or anything like that, which I could do on that with this but I like the quality of my camera better on my phone, so um, I do like to use that for that right there. And then I do keep a fan here because it's Arizona, it's hot. And then I also have a wireless speaker, which I love to use when I'm just sitting here by myself and planning. <coughs> this little nifty tripod is for my cell phone and it does uh, pop little legs out like you guys just saw. Um, and I can put my phone there. 
I like to use this when I'm doing my virtual teacher's lounge and just during the day I keep my phone there so that I can see it and um, that's from Amazon as well and then I do keep a little like desk planner um, and I just start writing things down for the the next week so that um, when I walk in on Monday I can see everything that is going on for the week and then you guys this beauty whew, this is the star of the show today so this right here that you guys can see is my flexi spot computer desk riser and I'm gonna have to put you guys down to show you how it works but you guys I do have a link down in the description below for you guys that will take you to a $15 off purchase so if you use my link below to purchase this flexi spot computer desk riser you will get $15 off now it is around $130 but y'all this thing is a game changer if you are virtually teaching if you're teaching in school it's still really cool um, but for virtu virtual teaching it is a lifesaver I used to be set up over there and I had my virtual like Google Meet space set up with this table and I would move my computers from there to there three times a day and I know that doesn't sound like a lot but it got really annoying and so when FlexiSpot reached out to me which yes this is technically sponsored they did send it to me for free um, I was like yes please I want that <laughs> so I do have this I'm gonna show you guys what it does in a minute um, but it is like changed the game for me um, I also have one of these computer stands for my district computer which is where I watch the kids on so I watch the students on this computer and then I present and my camera and my mic are all on this computer because I like this camera better so this is my computer and then I have this one just propped up so I can see the kids but when my big TV's here it'll be a lot better so um, I am gonna show you guys what this desk riser does so I'm gonna plop you guys down right here um, maybe I'll put you here now you can see better okay so there's a little button over here that you just press it's like a little lever you press it and then you kind of help it up a little bit and then it rises so that you can stand and sit at your desk and what I love about this is that when I do my Google Meets I can stand up and make it feel more like I'm teaching rather than just sitting there being lazy not to say that if you sit during your Google Meets you're lazy but I just feel more energetic when I'm standing up and I love that so it does come with a keyboard tray that is removable so all you do is unclip it here and then you can take it off so if you don't want this on there blocking your space that's fine I personally like it I have my mice on here and I have a keyboard that's connected to that computer so that when I'm working since it's not on the desk I don't have to worry about like reaching up there and typing um, it also has a mouse on it which is kind of cool and then um, yeah so you just rise it up um, you guys can see it's kind of like chest height for me so when I'm teaching I'm like kind of right here my hands are up here and I can see everything in front of me and it's just really handy um, for you know the type of movement that I'm doing every day I really love it so anyway I'm gonna move on um, like I said there is going to be a link down below also guys it's really sturdy it's made very well it doesn't shake it's not rickety like I'm not afraid it's gonna break or anything like that um, and so yeah you guys can get these at flexispot.com and I will have a link directly down in the description that will send you to where you can get $15 off so I'm gonna continue here with everything else on my desk so this is this really nifty remote um, it has these little plugs that you plug into the wall you plug your devices into it and then you can actually turn them off with um, the switch so I have this whole front space on a switch I have my whole whiteboard light on a switch and then I have all my lamps on a switch so you just and then everything turns off so with the click of a couple buttons I have everything turned on for the day I really love that that is an Amazon find and it is linked in my storefront and then I have my little globe timer here so this is for just like if I give kids two minutes to do something I can just hit this timer and then I put it on the screen and when it goes off they know that they're done or if someone's sharing or something like that um, 
this little mouse is from Amazon, this one's connected to that computer, and this one's connected to that computer. So, all right, enough of me talking about my virtual teaching. So guys, that is my virtual teaching space. I absolutely love it. It is really, really working out for me. When the kids come back to school, I will move this back to my teacher desk and I will probably still use it quite often um, just because I do like to stand. Um, I used to have my desk on that guy and um, this will just make it so that I can use that teacher desk and still be able to stand up and stuff like that. So, all right, that's my virtual teaching space. Also, I do have everything plugged into a, a strip right here. So the cords are a little yucky, but there's really nothing you can do guys to avoid cordage unless you have like cord, you know, clamps and stuff. But I'm just not gonna do that since this is kind of temporary. I don't wanna really, you know, mess it up. So, all right, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the classroom. I'm just gonna do a brief little tour. I'm gonna go this direction. So on my door, I do have this really cool shower caddy. Um, it does have all of my hall passes on it, and I like to keep like bathroom sticks, tardy sticks, anything else that um, the kids need when they leave and enter the room. I like to have it right here by the door. I do have some uh, little lights. These I was planning on putting boys and girls on, and then if a girl or boy's in the bathroom, they just press it so that I know someone's in there. Obviously, we can't use that right now, and a lot of things I'm gonna talk about, you guys, are probably not going to be used when the kids return because of COVID. And so just don't judge me in the comments and say, oh, I'm like, I'm shocked you have that. The kids can't use it. Okay, I know that but it's still gonna be in here whether the kids use it or not. So just bear in mind, um, this little space is just kind of empty right now. So when we do return to school, there's a chance that teachers will be rotating classrooms. And so I do have this blank space here for the ELA teacher and the math teacher to put any anchor charts that they want on the board. And then this space is kind of reserved for them if they have anything they want to bring and put down or whatever. This is also um, where I keep my prize wheel, and so that might move depending on what they need, but the prize wheel is from Amazon. It's gonna be used for a classroom management tool, and then this tablecloth I got from Amazon. It is kind of wrinkly, but it is hiding a lot of junk. So um, flexible seating cushions, things like that, that can't really be used are all hiding under there. And then if we come this way, I do have a filing cabinet it is full of supplies. I'm not going to show you what's in them because I don't think you care. Um, I do have quite a few things that aren't up yet that I would like to hang, like these two posters. Um, if I don't have to rotate, then I'll hang these on this wall and I'll put some sort of like scientific posters in them. And then I have... Um, my disc chairs, which I love, but they can't be used. This space will probably be where my computer cart goes once we have it. And then I have some of my school's posters there. So you can see that. And then over here is kind of like a student hub. So I have, I know we can't use them, but I do have all my construction paper stored in this. This is also from Amazon. Um, and then this little spot right here is where I keep like my first aid stuff, so band-aids, things like that, pencils, hand sanitizer, just like kind of the extras that kids are always like looking for because I don't want them going in here or in any of the cabinets. So anything I might be like, oh, hey, grab another bottle of sanitizer. Um, everything's kind of like over here. And then I have all my plastic bins, which a lot of them are empty because I did a lot of clean out. So I do have a lot of empty storage space, guys. I love this little cabinet. Um, I don't like how it looks, but I'm getting over it. I used to have all my bins here, and then that thing over there had random stuff on it, and I just couldn't deal, so I put it all here. Um, this is going to be my science and social studies wall. Right now it has all social studies on it, mapping skills, um, but this will get changed. And then over here I just have more storage, so I do have some extra decor items in there some uh, science stuff. So this is like flour and salt for salt dough maps. And then these are all of my um, my little dry erase pouches. And then this one's empty, so kind of cool. Up here on the top, I have some extra storage. I hate what this looks like, but I had literally have no other choice. 
Um, this was supposed to be community bins that I purchased for the kids to be able to keep stuff on top of the tables. <clears throat> but I know we can't use them. I have borders in this one, and then down below, that's some science stuff. This is my little toolkit for bulletin boards. It's from when I was putting the room together, and then this has some technology and stuff in it, um, and then poster paper. In this cabinet is all of my science and math stuff that I've had over the years, so all my math manipulatives that I own are down below. I have some crafting stuff in here. I've got lots of tape, paint and glitter, and then extra cords. And I have some composition notebooks stored back there. These are, these three, actually these four purple and white buckets are science kit stuff. Three of them, no, two of them came from the school and then that one and then these two on top are actually mine. So it's kind of funny that they all match. But I just have like random stuff in here, paint, uh, cranberry juice from a lab, um, paint or more science stuff. So all of this is kind of just like my Monica closet. I got like random science and Christmas decor and, you know, all that stuff. It is organized and clean, so it's not super messy, but it's all away. So over here, I just have my little science is cool. I got this idea from Josie Bensko. Um, this is going to be my teaching station if I do have to rotate classrooms. So if I have to move from room to room to teach, this is what I'm gonna be on. I'll just have all of my things that I need on this cart and then I will roll with it. So that is gonna be just hanging out there. I do plan on putting my book bins in here. If my kids don't rotate, I'll just put all my homeroom kids, I'll give them each a book bin just so that they can store their stuff in it um, and then they'll obviously wash them out. This is gonna be um, where all of my like students turn their work in. So um, I wanna get one more of these baskets are from Ikea, but I wanna do like period one, period two, period three. But right now I don't need that. Um, I have pencil sharpeners up here, um, my Scentsy Pot, which is not a Scentsy Pot, it's from Walmart. And then this is a really cool galaxy light thing that I bought that I haven't used yet. Over here I have my class rules. These are by Josie Bensko as well, Maniacs in the Middle, if you don't know who she is. You're living under a rock, go and find her. She's amazing. Um, and then just my Ikea things. A lot of those bins guys are empty because like I said, I did a lot of cleaning out. And so a lot of those are empty. So, you know, as the years go on, I will fill them with whatever I need to fill them with. Um, and then panning this way, you already saw that area, but I just have the whiteboard zone. I have the calendar. I forget where that's from. I know it's from Teachers Pay Teachers, but I haven't even edited it yet, obviously. <laughs> um, and then I have a few of these magnetic spice racks, which I love. This is my remote for my disco ball. And then I just keep like, you know, most of the stuff that's over here would move over here once we're back in session and I'm not like teaching from this space. So um, this is my whiteboard. I do have one of those nifty pull down maps. It's of the US though, and that's not really, I mean, I do teach the US history, but it's like way back in the day. Um, and then I have this space. This is kind of just here for now. Um, I figure if we come back, I'll probably use this space up front as like the demonstration spot, like my teacher table. So I'll move that. Like I said, I like to stand, and then these will become a small group table probably up here. It kind of just depends on the layout. Um, and then I do have some plants over here. I'm not showing this part of the board because there are some Google Classroom codes on there um, for my specials teachers, but I have some plants here that desperately need to be watered. Friday is watering day, so they're all dying of thirst. Globe, you guys get it. Um, my disco ball is right here in the corner. <clears throat> and I do have a student with epilepsy, um, but I did speak to their mom and she said that lights like this do not trigger her, so we are good to go. Um, that should be fine. And then I have this storage area. Like I said, a lot of bins are empty, so that's great. Um, when school supplies starts flooding in, I have a space to put everything. That's an Amazon rack. I also thought if I had to, I could take all those bins off and stack them and then I could put like projects to dry on this thing. It would be super cool. So then panning this way, I do have this really neat storage cabinet. This was here. 
Um, and I was super, super excited when I walked in and saw it because I knew I had a lot of stuff. And guys, this thing holds a lot of stuff. So on the top there, you can see all my literature studies and read alouds. Down here, I have some empty bins. And then over here, I have some random like collaborative structure game things. So I have like these, um, these kind of balls in here and I have like some calming tools, um, stress balls, stuff like that. This is all my supplies, so like my hot glue guns, my paper, my binder clips, my highlighters, my staples, all the things. That would go in a teacher desk, but I don't wanna clutter the teacher desk so I don't put them in there. Um, and then down here I have my curriculum. This is the PhD science from Great Minds and then all my dictionaries. In this drawer, I have all of my board games and movies. Up on this side, we have my daily drawers. I have some more empty storage bins, and then I do have some science curriculum books. And then in this drawer, I keep my privacy folders, some extra bins. These are, I like to use these for centers. And then these are for centers as well, or for any other purpose, whatever I need cones for. And then in this direction, we can see my community supply bin, which I know won't be used. I keep all my colored cardstock right here. And then my small group stools. And then this is my engineering process board. I was gonna put engineering and science down the top and the side, but I didn't do it yet because there's no kids in here. So I haven't done that yet. I might, I might not, I don't know, we'll see. Um, this is my teacher space. I do have my desk up against the wall. Uh, because I know that when the kids return, I will probably have to move the desks around and I'm gonna need as much floor space as possible. And I don't really sit there anyway. So it's not taking up space. And I do love when I do sit there to be able to look out the window and just get some sunlight on me. Um, on top of my desk, I do have some candy, um, tissues, that really trendy box from a couple years ago from Target. Um, picture of my husband and I, lamp. In the drawers is just like random stuff. Um, I have some plant food. Um, you know, basic things that teachers keep in their desks. Stickers, oh I need to take some of these home. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, Cash needs those. Um, and then my bases for kickball are down there, my copy bin. I do have a um, space heater down there too because I get cold in the winter. My sub tub is here and then I have a toolbox tucked down under there. Um, and then this way we have the coffee bar and the fridge. So I do have a little coffee bar station. In the winter I'll probably use this more because I love hot coffee in the winter. And then over here is where I keep like all my snacks and like food items, so like my coffee mug, my forks, some rice cakes and straws and my cup warmer and stuff like that. I have a little thing of feminine products in there in case I need them. Um, in this little corner is where I shove all my junk. So everything I bring to school with me, I kind of shove it in there and then that way it's out of my way and out of sight, <laughs> which I love. And then this is my little teacher zone, so all of my cutesy pootsy things, my college degree, and a picture of Darth Vader, and all the things. Um, Ikea, again, for the furniture. And then I do have my teacher toolbox here, and I love these little scent pots. These are from Walmart, I like the cheap ones. I like the Walmart scents too, the Better Homes and Gardens, those work the best. Um, but yeah, I like this space. These are hung for when kids turn things in, um, like field trip forms or like school documents, I will put them in here to track um, who turns them in and stuff. And then the, this, I reserved this little space for like my professional things, things I need to turn in are there. And then um, <clears throat> I have a little plant there. Then I've got a printer that doesn't work, so it's kind of tucked away. This is kind of like my little creation station, so I have my paper cutters and staplers and things like that. And then panning this direction is my library, so if I can... Sorry guys, my camera turned off on me. But anyway, I do have some overflow of Diary for One Big Kid books over here and all of their favorites, Dogman and you know. <clears throat> and then we come to the end, kind of where we began. 
Um, this is where I keep my mirror, so I do my outfits of the day here. And then I wanted the kids to have a mirror to look at, um, you know, with a little slogan up there, you matter. Um, I love it. And then over here is where I'm going to keep like all my student information. So like scholastic news information, um, calendar, things like that. It's not there yet because we don't need it yet. But once we come back, I will update that space. So, and then we're back at the door. <laughs> All right, my friends, so that is my fourth grade science and social studies classroom. I know that it's not very like science-y, social studies-y, but I am a gen ed teacher and I just came into the departmentalized world, so I don't have a lot of like science stuff and like social studies stuff yet. But I feel like I don't really need that for fourth grade um, because I do have like my own homeroom and um, I will start accumulating as I go and if I stay in this position, which I hope I do for a long time, then I will start to kind of build up my collection with science stuff. Um, I know I didn't show you guys the layout of the room because it probably will change. Right now I have four groups of seven and I know that it will probably change so I'm not going to like show you guys too much. I do have like little plants and signs on the tables. but. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some inspiration or found some things that maybe you hadn't thought of and you might want to try or some items that you might be interested in getting for yourself to make life easier. Um, like I mentioned, that FlexiSpot desk riser is $15 off if you use my link. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoy if you do end up getting one of those. It is a game changer. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Apples and Tiaras, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.